Huge news for the towns of Malden and Pine City. Five months after a devastating wildfire destroyed roughly 85% of those buildings in the towns, the Biden administration today approved federal aid to help them rebuild. This move triggers the release now of funding from FEMA to help the communities rebuild and recover. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley joins us now live tonight with more on what this really means for those people. Amanda? Good evening. This is an emotional day for the Malden and Pine City communities. They have waited 148 days for this funding, and in that time, the people have remained strong and positive. The towns of Malden and Pine City have waited five months for federal assistance following the massive wildfire that leveled the majority of homes here. Today, these communities finally got the good news. They are approved for public assistance from FEMA. That funding will help rebuild public infrastructure damaged by the fire. This includes power lines, roads, and water and sewage systems. But families and homeowners are still waiting for federal assistance to come through as well. It's like the sunshine is shining and there's, there's not a cloud in the sky. I was truly excited, started sharing and commenting. Some of the people I talked to in Malden today say they feel like a hundred pounds has been lifted from their back. We've had folks come in today and you know, they've had tears in their eyes. I mean, this is, this is huge. Uh, it is the beginning and we want folks to keep writing their, their senators and representatives and Governor Inslee and telling them, thank you. The $2.5 million in individual federal assistance for people affected by the wildfires remains under review. Governor Jay Inslee's office confirms it is part of his proposed budget and currently being considered by the state legislature. If the individual assistance is approved, it would be available beginning July 1st. Baby step, but it is a huge step. We've just got to continue having patience and like the mayor said, faith. There has been quite a bit of progress here in clearing away damages from the fire, but the public assistance funding should help the community complete that step in rebuilding. Now, I do have to say it was just great to see some smiles and just pure joy here in Malden today. These communities have just been through so much and they really deserve to get some good news. Reporting in Malden this evening, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News. Amanda, thank you very much. By the way, the Malden Pine City Long Term Recovery Group has diligently pressed leaders to get this federal aid. Their efforts sought out the help needed to rebuild those communities. One of those group members explained the public assistance that they got FEMA's approval for is used for infrastructure. So that includes fire and police departments, roads and some cleanup. But individual assistance from FEMA is still under review, as Amanda mentioned. If approved, it will be a huge help to families trying to rebuild what they lost. If we get it, it can mean grants up to $33,000 for people who qualify, um, grants that they won't have to repay uh, for rebuilding a home. And also uh, then there can be, if we're, uh, there's a number of programs, housing programs, um, help, counseling, all kinds of things that come in with IA that would be extremely helpful for my community. Um, if we're denied IA, um, it would it would be tough, but we can work with that. We can. There's still options available to open up doors that open once we're turned down or approved for IA. But we've been again waiting for that yes or the no to go forward. And today, Governor Jay Inslee released a statement following the Biden administration's approval of Washington's major disaster declaration. He said, quote, this federal aid will help rebuilding public infrastructure that suffered damage during the devastating fire. The money will go toward power lines, roadways, fencing around public areas and water and sewage systems. His statement reads in part, today's approval for FEMA aid by the White House will help get these communities moving more swiftly toward recovery, unquote. The governor also thanked the Biden administration for acting quickly and making this funding available. But today's major disaster declaration, which we requested last September, will help get these communities uh, moving more swiftly to recovery. And also in a statement, Eastern Washington Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers also applauded Biden's approval of the federal aid. She had sent three letters to President Trump's administration urging approval of Inslee's request. McMorris Rogers spoke with him personally back in December of 2020. And at the beginning of this year, she also wrote to President Biden in an effort to ensure that Governor Inslee's request would receive attention and approval. McMorris Rogers visited Malden and Pine City just days after the fire. She said the devastation took her breath away. 
Her statement today said in part, the biggest fear I had when I visited was that after the speeches were over and the news cameras were gone, politicians would forget about Malden. I have worked tirelessly since that visit to make sure that didn't happen and to push to get these communities the relief they so desperately need. Senator Maria Cantwell also released a statement on the approval of the major disaster declaration request for Malden. It reads in part, no one should play politics with disaster relief. Now is the time to help Malden rebuild with its disaster declaration, which makes FEMA resources available to individuals and public assistance to communities to help rebuild things like roads, bridges and power lines, unquote. Well, a lot of progress has been made since the Bab Malden fire ripped through that part of Whitman County, and today was a victory for a community working to rebuild. But where did this all begin? Let's break down the timeline now. So Monday, September 7, 2020, Labor Day, the Bab Malden fire sparked at around noon. The towns of Malden and Pine City, which were once some of the largest and fastest growing communities in the region, were just devastated. By that Wednesday, September 9th, Commissioner of Public Lands Hillary Franz also visited those two towns. She promised the mayor there resources would be sent to town. Then Thursday, September 10th, Governor Jay Inslee toured the impacted area. Inslee met with local first responders, law enforcement and residents. He vowed to help the city get back on his feet. And as we said on that same day, Congresswoman McMorris Rogers was there visiting Malden and Pine City. At the time, she thanked all who had responded. She also promised that she and her team would work to support all of the recovery efforts. Then Thursday, September 17th, Commissioner Franz made good on her promise to help communities rebuild. She gifted them a brand new fire truck after their only fire truck was destroyed in the fire. Now today, nearly five months after that devastating fire, President Biden again approving disaster relief for both Malden and Pine City. So certainly a step in the right direction for the communities that have been struggling to rebuild ever since. We'll keep you posted. On